Today is April the 8th, 2024, and today is the last day of online services for the Wii U and 3DS. According to Nintendo's webpage, at 4pm Pacific Daylight Time at April 8th, 2024, online play and other functionality that uses online communication will end for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. This also includes online cooperative play, internet rankings, and data distribution. Now what this means of course is that this is the official end of Wii U and 3DS support for users who like to play online 3DS and Wii U titles such as Mario Kart 7, Mario Maker and the original Splatoon for the Wii U just to name a few. You'll only be able to play these games offline, which of course is a huge blow to those that continue to enjoy these games in 2024 and you'd be surprised how many people are still playing Splatoon and Mario Kart on their Wii U. Of course, we aren't talking big numbers here, but all of a sudden, these users are faced with the reality that their games will no longer work. However, as always, thanks to the community, these online services will live on with Pretendo, which is a fan replacement service to the Nintendo network. Think of it in the same way as Insignia being the community-built replacement for Xbox Live 1.0. According to Pretendo's website, Pretendo is a free and open-source replacement for Nintendo servers for both 3DS and Wii U, allowing online connectivity for all, even after the original servers are discontinued. Pretendo is an open-source project that aims to recreate Nintendo Network for the 3DS and Wii U using clean room reverse engineering. Our services would be both free and open source, they can exist long after the inevitable closure of Nintendo Network, which of course is today, and all of a sudden Pretendo is becoming a very important tool for the preservation of online gaming on Nintendo's previous generation. But it's not just the games either, Pretendo also re-enables support for Miiverse, Wii U Chat, Friends, account registration features, in short, once you've got Pretendo running on either your 3DS or the Nintendo Wii U or both, it won't feel much different to what you've been used to for all these years. But I should stress, as with anything community driven, support for Nintendo's online features via Pretendo is still very much in active development and should still be considered beta, with overall progress on their webpage suggesting around 72% of overall progress completion. Now for some people that may sound like it's still very much in a state of flux and the reality is it is but I've been testing Pretendo over the last week and the results are quite impressive. Not only have I been playing Mario Kart 8, Splatoon as well as other games on the Pretendo network but it certainly may take some time. The Pretendo development team are actively going through network dumps that have been submitted by the community to understand how the networking capabilities of many different Wii U and 3DS games are working with the goal of supporting all network based functionality. But let's move on, how do you get Pretendo up and running on your 3DS or Wii U? Well it's quite simple to set up but I do want to be very clear that you need a hacked 3DS if you want to run Pretendo on your 3DS or a hacked Wii U if you want to run Pretendo on your Wii U system. Now I should pause here for a moment and let you guys know it is possible to use Pretendo with Semu, the very popular Wii U emulator. Now there is functionality for this to work, but I haven't tested it myself, so your mileage may vary, but someone out there may already have done this. So if you have, just let me know in the comments below. Now everyone on the planet probably has a hacked 3DS at this point, but if you don't, that I'm going to direct you to the step-by-step -step guide, which is always up to date, located at 3ds.hacks.guide. And for the Wii U, hacking the system is quite easy to do. And that's actually something I covered about a month ago with the latest environment known as Aroma. And for this, head on over to wiiu.hacks.guide for the full step-by-step -step guide on getting the Wii U hacked. Now, once you've set everything up, you can then begin the process of setting up Pretendo. And for this, I recommend you go to Pretendo's website at pretendo.network. They also have a very active Discord community with a support channel that can help you get all your issues resolved. Pretendo.network has a step-by-step -step process of setting up Pretendo once you've hacked your systems and the entire process shouldn't take you any longer than 30 minutes. But at a high level, once you've set up Pretendo on your Wii U or 3DS, then you can either link a Pretendo network account to your console 
in exactly the same way as you normally would if you're running the Nintendo network or to create an account on your console when you're running from the Pretendo network on the console itself. Now over on the Wii U, you will know that Pretendo is running when you turn on your Wii U. You'll see a notification on the top left hand side. Now over on the 3DS, there is an application known as Nimbus, which will allow you to switch over to the Pretendo network with ease. And you only need to do this one time. Now once you've set everything up, you should be all good to go. And you'll notice applications such as Miiverse and Friends can be used once again. Now, of course, this is a server replacement, so your friends list won't carry over from the Nintendo network, but I was able to send and receive friend invites on both the 3DS and Wii U with relative ease. And once you've set all this up, that you should be all good to go. Now, you'll notice things like Miiverse and friends can be used once again. Now, of course, this is a server replacement, so your friends list won't carry over. And jumping back into Miiverse after such a long time is really awesome to see there's already a small community that's continuing to grow so miiverse on both the wii u and the 3ds is awesome to see back up and running once again now with friends this is something that has been uh, up and down over the last week or so there has been issues with the friends server not responding to requests but over the last couple of days at least of the making of this episode friends seems to be working just fine i can send invites i can accept invites i can invite friends to the games that i'm playing all that kind of stuff it all seems to work just fine now as far as testing the server itself the pretendo network what are the games that i tried well the first game that i tried was mario kart 7 on the 3ds and i was able to get into a couple of races just fine now because of the making of this episode the nintendo network is still up then most people are still on the nintendo network so there is a pretty small percentage of people that are actually using pretendo at the moment but you can still jump in and match make and get into a mario kart 7 game just fine i played a couple of games in a row and i will say the performance the stability the network speeds everything felt really really good i didn't have any lag or any stutter or anything like that everything just worked the way that you would expect it to work now another game that i tested was splatoon on the wii u and this ran just fine as well now splatoon is one of those games that is going to be lost forever in time there are a lot of diehard fans of the original splatoon game that don't necessarily connect with splatoon 2 and 3 as much so having splatoon available on the pretendo network is probably one of the biggest reasons why you'd want to jump on pretendo there are a lot of people that are still playing splatoon to this day and it's really awesome that it's still being supported now i also tested mario kart 8 on the wii u and just like mario kart 7 this ran just fine now if you want to get a more comprehensive list of progress of individual games over on the pretendo website once again there is a pretty comprehensive list of the games that are currently supported and the percentage of completion and they're very clear as to what features are actually working so for example if we take a look at mario kart 7 i can get into races just fine but things like communities ghost data and rankings are still yet to be completed if you look at something like kid icarus uprising you can play the light versus dark mode or the free-for-all mode but friends room is not working the same thing with something like pokemon rumble world you can do visits but there is no spot pass visits for example so there's a really really great granular kind of breakdown of the functionality that's currently in place if we look at splatoon you can see that we can go online and also have private battles but the public battles and the splat first are still in a state of flux at the moment another really great reason why you'd want to jump on to the pretendo network is of course super mario maker and this of course means that super mario maker will be available and playable and completely preserved now over on the 3ds it's an 83 percent completion the only thing that's currently not implemented is the display of random courses but everything else works just fine super mario maker on the wii u is a little less uh complete it still needs a little more work but you can see here that it's over 63 percent complete which is really awesome mario kart 8 on the wii which is a very popular game of course it's going to be on the pretendo network 
is almost complete. We're at 89% completion. There is a small subsection of things that are still yet to be done. So you can see here that there is obviously a lot more work to be done, but there is a lot of progress that's being continued right now. And this of course is the reason why the Pretendo developers are asking the community to submit their network dumps, which is something they've had a very large influx of over the last week or so just before the Nintendo network servers go offline. So Pretendo Network is an awesome replacement for the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS network uh, you know, functionality, which makes things really awesome. Now, I do want to be clear before we kind of wrap up that this at this time is still very much in a state of active development and flux. There's been periods of time where I haven't been able to get into any game and I just get kind of these error messages come up. And all of a sudden, when I kind of, you know, walk away and come back a few hours later, things work just fine. So I will say that the network right now is in a state of flux. There is a lot of ongoing development going on at this time. So stability may be a little up and down depending on the game that you want to play. But I will say that I think over time, stability and more functionality will become available. So I definitely recommend that if you are interested in kind of keeping your 3DS alive or your Nintendo Wii U alive, then check out Pretendo. Pretendo.network has an awesome step-by-step -step guide to get you set up as mentioned. And the Discord community is very friendly and very welcoming to you know new people that wanna jump in and get involved as well. Now, the last thing I do wanna say is I'm not affiliated with Pretendo Network in any way. I'm not, you know, uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is something that a lot of people have asked me to cover on the channel. And I was really kind of just waiting for, you know, the last few days of the Nintendo Network closure before we kind of jumped in and took a look at Pretendo because this piece of software is going to become very important for those people that want to keep their 3DS and Wii U alive in 2024 and beyond. So fantastic work to the Pretendo team. Check it out if you're interested. We're going to leave it here for today's episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. I'll have relevant links to everything that I talked about in the description below so you can get set up and up and running yourselves if you want to do that. But we are going to leave it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Watching once again and we'll catch you guys in the next episode bye for now